Dear all, in this lecture video, I will be discussing about most important questions which are repeated for assistant engineer, assistant electrical inspector, sub engineer, etc. This video will be helpful for those who are preparing for technical examination. Let me move on to the first question. Potential transformer is used for connecting. Option A, energy meter to high current line, voltmeter to primary line, voltmeter to HV side, current coil to low voltage side. I have mentioned the question paper code and the date of examination as well. Which, which would be the right answer? Potential transformer or you can call voltage transformer. Actually, potential transformer is used for connecting voltmeter to high voltage terminal because it is not possible to measure the high voltage directly with the help of voltmeter. So it is better to go for potential transformer or you can go for voltage transformer. Let us understand a few points about the potential transformer. So I have collected some information from different textbook and website and let me show you what are the things I have collected. High voltage terminals of PT is also known as H. Low voltage terminals of potential transformer or voltage transformer is also denoted by the letter X. PT or you can call VT always connected, connected in parallel and it is also known as instrument transformers. Both potential transformer and current transformers are generally called as instrument transformers. PT are designed such a way, way that minimum error should be occurred. Error should be as minimum as possible. So because of that, the following constraints should be, the following points need to be considered. Low leakage reactants, low losses, high magnetizing reactants. So these points will be considered while designing the PT. Normally, magnitude and phase errors are the commonly occurred error in potential transformer. So this is the few information about potential transformer. Let me move on to question number two. Stray loss is accounted as magnetic and electric losses, copper losses plus constant loss, magnetic and mechanical losses, copper loss and iron losses. Normally, magnetic losses and mechanical losses are collectively known as stray losses. This is very important. You can expect these kind of questions in the competitive examination. You can opt option C. Let me discuss about question number three. The function of breather in transformer, option A, it maintains constant output voltage. It maintains oil level in the tank, prevents moisture to enter the tank. It prevents transformer from lighting. So which would be the right answer? So I can say that uh, option A is totally incorrect. Option B is also incorrect. And option D, that is also absolutely incorrect. From among this option, prevent the moisture to enter the tank. That is the right answer, which is related to breather. So regarding the breather, it prevents the moisture to enter the tank. Okay, so that's a right answer for question number three. So you have to explain more on breather. So I would like to show you one more question related to transformer breather that I have displayed over there. Let me go through another questions which are related to breather. Question number four. Breather of a distribution transformer contains calcium chloride, uh, sodium chloride, calcium carbonate, dry air. The right answer for this question is calcium chloride, especially in distribution transformer. It is operating 24 seven. Okay, uh, so uh, calcium chloride is used as a breather in distribution transformer. So I can go for option A. Option A is the right answer. I would like to discuss about question five. If the full load iron loss of a transformer is 100 watts, let me note down iron loss is equal to 100 watts. Okay, uh, then the iron loss at half load is uh, that means 25 watts, 50 watts, 100 watts, and 200 watts. Actually, if I consider the load, for example, regarding the load. Uh, X is the fraction of load, then the total losses, total losses I can write like this. P is equal to what I have to write. P A plus, P A means iron loss plus X square into P C. X square into P C, where P C is known as copper loss. Now, uh, the full load iron loss they have given as 100 watts. Here we are not considering the fraction of load. Okay, fraction of load we are not considering. So therefore, what you are supposed to do is, 
uh, the iron dose at half load that is also 100 watts i can go for option c because see the equation p is equal to pa plus x square into pc here actually the iron dose is not at all depending on x x is nothing but fraction of load here actually x is given as half so x is not depending on pa obviously the answer for this right answer for this question is option c okay so uh, this is the relation you have to remember p is equal to pa plus x square into pc by using the re relation you can able to answer this question moving on to question number six in a transformer tapping are usually provided on lv side primary side secondary side hv side normally the transformer tappings are provided at high voltage side i can go for option d option d is the correct answer for this question let me move on to question number seven that is also very important the full load copper loss of a transformer is 100 watts the copper loss at one by fourth full load you know the relation right the total loss in occurring in the transformer that we can write it as uh, iron loss plus x square into pc x square into pc where pc is known as copper loss uh, i am uh, concentrating the second term in this question for this question x square into pc has to be considered you know the copper loss they have given as 100 watts the fraction of full load that is given as 1 by 4 correct 1 by 4 the full load so let me take x equal to 1 by 4 i am concentrating only the copper loss here therefore x what value i have to substitute for x it is 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 the whole square into oh, pc okay 1 by 4 into pc what is pc at 1 by 4 the whole square into pc what is pc it is of course 100 watts in fact if you solve this uh, I'll be getting 1 by 4 the whole square that is equal to how much 16 right okay 16 into 100 watts 16 into 100 watts so you need to solve this so whenever you are going to solve that means 100 divided by 60 that is equal to 50 then 8 this will be 4 and 25 or then it is 2 12.5 actually the right answer is 6.25 this is not in the option actually 6.25 right answer should be 6.25 okay so right answer for the question is 6.25 it's not in the option actually so these are the type of questions uh, which can be expected for various competitive examination 